So let's go ahead and start working on the um, putting plants around. And notice right here we have a small area where we can put plants. And also we have it these two mountains on the back that we can also put or some hills. Um, because this is small and if we put some plants right here the wheel cover area on the back. So in this case I want to start with putting plants first right on the back and this is will determine how much plants we need to put on the back or what size of this. So I'm going to select this terrain, we'll go open and the next we'll add new material and let's switch this to the ecosystem. So as the ecosystem we're going to add a few plants and depend on um, what you like it. I will go in with a kind of fall color. So we'll have it um, fall elder and probably some red tree. Some of them may be from different regions. Um, when we render the one be closer, it will be just kind of like background fill with this. Uh, maple, yellow maples. So let's go look on the other ones. This one actually uh, look good as well. So let's go H that tree and maybe you know add good walnut. I think this one will work as well. I think it should be good enough right now. Um, one thing we can go ahead and populate. The reason is I don't like populate because it's all placed everywhere. I just want paint. And for this, we'll use the ecosystem paint options. So as we open, you can see we have our ecosystem painter open with all these additional brush presets. Currently, we'll just we'll go use the very simple populate. And let's look over the settings. What do we have here? We have an airbrush style. That's what I wanted. Flow, we can a little bit decrease. So it will be a little bit... Um, few plants. Also we have it limited density and scale. So if we start painting first, I can see how tall they are. So they will cover about this area. I think this is about right size. And of course if we don't like it, we'll go to erase them. Okay, let's go back to and you know what maybe even reduce just a little bit scale down them. So we can see those mountains on the back. I'm going to start painting from the area and if it does not paint enough you can always increase density or just uncheck limit density if we uncheck limit density that will be way more you can see how much more plants is distributing so right there let's go next to zoom a little bit closer and right here we have our water so by water i want to add some um the elements so we'll go ahead you know what let's go to um, paint just a little bit right here and I can see preview again if you have multi screen you can move this to another screen so you can preview or I'm just going and paint right around this area a little bit more right and you can see this is giving us a nice angle so I'm going will pop up this mountain higher going right there and the plants will come around this area as well. So we can put a few of them right here. And let's just paint. Again, if they become too much, like right here, maybe a little bit too many of the plants, we want maybe hide this. And of course, we'll go back to our eraser. And we can just take a razor. No, I don't want it. And we can just erase a little bit. Okay, let's go back. Again, add a few right here. Okay, and also want to add a few on the edge but this way let's go make scale even smaller and we'll just add a few small plants so they will be by the edge but they will add very nice kind of smooth effect like fallout when you get closer to the plants 
Okay. I think that is look nice. Next, we want to add some grass because if we preview right at this moment, let's go click preview. Okay, it's progressing. Sometimes I don't need to go all the way. I can already view thing, a couple things. Uh, maybe you not know, change water a little bit to different color because it look like maybe a vampire like full of the blood or something. Um, and we'll need to add some bushes right there closer so we can go create another layer and paint more. Uh, as well, the background, it was look okay, but right now I don't like how the mountain's coming up. So we're going to fix a couple things. Okay, let's go right click. Okay, here, let's open main camera and disable after exposure so that won't messing up a little bit. Um, next, we have our Let's reposition. This is one of our uh, mountain. Could bring a little bit kind of closer and a little bit up. Around here we have this terrain. Same, let's increase this in size. And bring just a little bit higher. So something on the back. And we'll take our this mountain let's scale just slightly down and maybe move on the side yeah, I think right there will be a little bit better look can okay, go this way Just a little bit reposition and see. So we have a taller tree. Yeah, I think this will work a little bit better. Maybe even more down. And we can bring slightly up. This way will create interesting angle for us. Uh, the nice things to know about materials, because this materials is set as world standard, we don't need to worry about but, uh, positioning top and bottom adjustment it will adjust itself which is very nice about this okay um I think it's set let's go our cube and you know what i want to set this okay let's go set this to maybe bluish color kind of watery so this won't be the red okay Let's continue now working on this texture. Let's open new and I will create again new layer. This layer will be just for low bushes and we'll convert this to ecosystem. Okay, let's go add and we're going to add probably this one. Okay, let's go add something else and you can look for some small plants and I'm trying to find with different coloring them we also can go to the bushes and maybe select dry bush the more variety we have the better it is kind of and okay and now let's go add this one as well okay with this one I want to get closer because we're going to paint but we're going to paint not everywhere because we don't need some areas but I want paint like around here in some ways we will start hiding some of those elements so we'll go click paint select our paintbrush we'll go to reduce scale for now I want to make smaller on this one and we'll increase limit density So you can see right here, we'll just paint them slightly. We can look in our preview window. You can see we have some of them already appear right here. And maybe even get closer and paint a little bit more right around this area. Again, if it's not enough, remember you can disable limit density. So this way you can actually paint quite a bit more. I'm going around there 
and by the edge of the water this is almost always you want to do add some by the edge with a small bush so we'll have a very nice kind of cliff looking by the water okay We'll add right there. Okay, we can preview and give it a second till it's refreshing, and we can see we have a nice cover right there. You know, maybe a little bit more putting around this area. So we can zoom in closer. Now just add way more. around here a few and we'll just add way more right here and let's go add by the water okay so this is one painting and we can go ahead remember always save your work wherever you work keep um, saving or different versions so you can come back afterwards and if you need it you can always fix it okay next what i want to do it is create another layer because i will add more and more layers here so we'll go create a new and for this layer same we'll have an ecosystem and we're going to add something plants that can be in the water so let's go open we'll go into the let's go see if we have it in aggressors right there and right here bamboo let's see if we have it reeds okay there you go we're gonna put it some reeds right here let's see if we can find some other plants or next this may be okay it will be just mess up a little bit with the coloring but this may work as well and let's just add different again this is not totally that region where is a plant crumb come but let's make nice additions to that so again we'll go paint let's go increase this decrease scale for now I just want to paint a little bit right here, see how it will come up. I think right in this area will be nice. So let's go disable limit density. Come closer. And we'll just right here in the water. I'll go paint. Let's bring our brush a little bit higher so we can paint with more elements. The one nice thing is it's painting actually on our ground, so it will be almost coming from the water. Uh, let's pop up scale a little bit up now. We'll go right there. Okay, I want to see when it's preview. It's getting greener there. And I'll just go by the edge. Add more right here. And there you go. It's kind of look right there. And also, because we see something on the back, we can add a few more right here, but let's increase size. So that will be just a little bit bigger. Again, what I'm doing, I'm painting, but I'm painting from perspective of this camera. If you change angle or other things, it's not necessarily will work for you, but it's will in this case. Let's look at okay, brush right here. So let's reduce. Maybe you know, bring. Paint a 
little bit more right around this area. This is kind of empty. I don't necessarily like that. So I'm going to paint around here. So it should pop up. I think this is look nice. So we almost ready. Yeah, let's go make save this work save our tutorial and the next part we'll just add a few details up front and start working on the lighting.